Today, Gadget Class, I'm going to show you how to modify a fluorescent light fixture to work with LED light tubes. LEDs are much more energy efficient and they last a long time. Uh, you're going to go through a lot more standard fluorescent bulbs than you're ever going to go through with LED. And they put out just as many lumens as the fluorescent light tubes. Uh, these are high output T5 bulbs on these fixtures here. They put out a lot of light and the LED tubes put out just as much. So in the long run, LEDs are a no-brainer. You're going to save money over the life of uh, the fixture and energy costs and tube cost. But uh, when it comes to uh, making this conversion, you add up like all these bulbs in here, we're looking at thousands of dollars in LED light tube replacement. But you see how some of the fixtures are uh, missing bulbs or have some bulbs that aren't illuminated? Those are bad ballast. And when you start looking at replacing a ballast in a tube, uh, that's where LEDs start to look really attractive. Because replacing that ballast there with two new light bulbs is going to cost you about $40. Two new LED light tubes are going to cost you under $40. So you're looking at about the same cost or less to go ahead and convert over to LED. At this point, it's a no-brainer. When ballast replacement is involved, convert to LED, no questions asked. It's a no-brainer any day of the week. So these particular uh, high bay light fixtures actually have two ballasts. Uh, one larger ballast controls four bulbs and one smaller ballast only controls two bulbs. And lucky for us, it's the smaller ballast that went bad. Um, so this will be a good video. I'm going to disable this one ballast and con connect that straight to power um, so that the two bulbs that are, were controlled by that ballast are now going to be controlled by LED. So if you've got a smaller light fixture with only one ballast, this video will apply exactly the same. Just ignore this other ballast over here. So I've got this plugged into an extension cord here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, kind of test a, a uh, fixture on the bench here. If you've got uh, a ballast that's only partially bad, you can use a non-contact voltage meter like this to tell uh, which which ballast is bad and uh, which uh, sockets are bad. So what I'm going to do, I've got it plugged in. I'm just going to use my non-contact voltage meter and stick it in each one of these sockets. I already know which ones are bad, but uh, let's see if you can figure it out here. So this one and this one didn't beep. And on this particular light fixture, this small ballast controls that set or that pair of bulbs. So I know that one's bad, and I know I need to replace that ballast. If you're not sure, use your non-contact voltage meter, or if you're going to replace uh, or disable all the ballast, you're perfectly good. Uh, now that we know it's that one, let's go ahead and disable it there. So on every fluorescent light fixture, you're going to have uh, basically two different kinds of voltage going on. You've got your, your high side or your fluorescent uh, amplified side, and you've got your line voltage. Line voltage are always going to be uh, white or gray and black. So you see here, um, I've got uh, my two ballast, which is white and gray, and another white going into the white side, and then we've got our hot side going into the black. So what we're basically going to be doing is uh, bypassing the ballast and going straight from white to yellow, and straight from black to red and blue. And if you have orange also, you'd be going from black to red, blue, and orange. So the yellow side could be considered your common. It's often daisy chained on one side of the, the light picture. And then the, the hot ones, the reds and the blues, um, always go to each individual socket. So here we've got blue going to one socket and red going to another socket. So what we're gonna do here We're simply going to uh, cut each of these lines. Let me unplug the power first. Strip off about uh, three-eighths of an inch there. Same thing with these. All right, now 
I'll go ahead and uh, strip these off as well. And you want to consider these pairs. You got your two yellow wires. That's going to be one pair. We got our two blue wires. That's going to be another pair. And our two red wires. That's going to be a third pair. So this is very simple from this point on. You're just going to attach all the reds and blues together. And if you have orange as well, the oranges are going to go in there as well. And those are going to go to the black side. So your original black wire that was going over here is now going to go to the reds and the blues. And you're just going to wire nut that together. And now your two yellow wires are going to go to your neutral side. Like so. So basically we've got uh, neutral going to yellow and we've got uh, line or uh, hot line going to the reds, blues and the oranges. So that ballast is now disabled. Now we can plug it back in. Now if we use our non-contact voltage tester here, we're going to see line voltage at these. Well, we should anyway. There we go. So it's beeping a lot faster. That's actually the 60 hertz of the line voltage. Um, on the other ones, it's actually beeping slower. That's the output of the other ballast, but the line voltage is actually going at 60 hertz there. So now, should be able to just plug our uh, bulb in. And there we go. So now we've got our 120 volts or 277, depending on what voltage you're running, going straight from our power connection to each side of the bulb. And you need to make sure that you've got hot going to one side and neutral going to the other. And you'll do that if you just follow my instructions there, yellow to white and black to uh, red, blue, and orange. And that's, that's simple. It's pretty easy. Um, if you're doing it up in the air, like on a 20 foot ladder, you might have some issues, but it's very easy, uh, nothing to freak out about. So if you want to see reviews on the various LED light bulbs, I am doing video reviews of all of those. Make sure you check the links and the video description down below for all of that fun stuff. So make sure you hit yes, uh, or hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel.